so I've got a, a sheet metal model that I, I'm pretty happy with actually. I've got the bends located where I want. Um, everything's looking good. I've generated my flat pattern. I've done my custom cutouts here. I've created a, a crease in here. So I've, I've changed the order of the bends. Everything's ready for documentation. So I'm just gonna click new here. I'm gonna create a new drawing. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna use one of the, the template drawings because the focus here is just, what is there from a sheet metal drawing view perspective. So I'm going to create a base view and what we'll notice here is that I can create a base view of the folded model or the flat pattern. So I'm going to create one of the folded model and I'm just going to create one of, of an ISO view here and let's move this up into a corner. So I'm going to start with with a view of the folded model. So and actually let's make this into a, a shaded view. Um, so we're going to have that up in the corner as a reference. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a base view. This time I'm going to use the flat pattern and notice I could get the bend extents, I could get the, the punch here. Um, in fact, let's make the scale here a little bit bigger so we can see the view a little bit better and notice just kind of move that. And I can actually create isometrics and, and orthographics and other type views of the flat pattern like I would a normal part. So we can see there this is, this is looking good using the orientation for my flat pattern. I'm going to click OK and we can see it's gone through and, and generated that, that geometry. Now, from a drawing perspective, it does create a separate layer for the bend line. So there is a particular um, layer style for the, the bend line. So right now it's using by, by standard, but you can see that there is a bend center line and bend extent um, layer that we can use to control the line type and the colors and, and things like that. Now I didn't include the bend extents, but if I was to include the bend extents, we can see that it is bringing in that geometry. And again, there's a separate layer for that information um, to bring into our drawing. All right, so got my flat pattern placed in there and I can dimension it. So I can use regular drawing dimensions to dimension my features. I could also consider using the ordinate style dimension. So let's just do an ordinate dimension set. We'll say that, you know, there's my, my zero and I want that, that, you know, that bend line and I want that object and we'll say continue. And what we'll do is we'll place those ordinate dimensions in there. So you can see how I was able to extract out that information quickly. So again, nothing really revolutionary here. I'm just using the regular dimension tools to dimension my, my um, flat pattern here. Now, I did say that there was specific tools here. So there is a punch tool, but notice there's also a bend label tool. So I can come in here, pick the bend, and notice how it's extracted out, in this case, the direction, the angle, and the radius. And this is actually manageable in your style. And if I pull this out, you can see that I can actually get a leader. If I double click on it, I can see right now the direction, the angle, the radius. Again, you can do this within your styles, but notice we can pull out the bend direction, we can pull out the bend angle, we can pull out the bend radius, and we can pull out the bend K factor of that certain information. And I can start playing with the tolerances here as well. So you can see it's just using the global tolerances. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same bend tool, but I'm going to do a window across here because what I want to do is extract out all of them and you can see how it's now gone through and labeled each of, of the, the bends for me, which is a great feature. You don't have to pick each one individually. It'll just go out there and, and do it for me. Now I'm actually going to undo that because as a, as a third option um, for, for labeling this is that you can actually place in a general table and by picking the flat pattern, you can see that it's going to pull out the ID, direction, angle, radius, and again, I got access to the same options, so maybe I'd like to have the, the bend radius, so I don't need the alternate bend radius, but that's fine. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to label these alpha numeric, and I'm going to click OK, and when I place this table in, it's going to extract out all that information in the order that it's, it's supposed to be. And what it's also done, there's no bend radius on this one, so this is my uh, cosmetic one, and I didn't add a bend radius. But notice it's also gone through there and labeled each bend as well, which is a which is a great feature. So very quickly I was able to, to drop in that table. It extracts all the information for me and labels it. Now this is all controlled by style, so if you don't ha aren't happy with that table, the order of the columns, you can create a style to, to manage all that. So again, um, you can create drawing views, flat pattern of the full and model, both in the same drawing. You can use your dimensioning tools. So dimensions, ordinance, continuous. Um, you know, add text, add leaders, all the things are, are applicable to the flat pattern just like they are to, to 3D models and the, and the folded model. Specifically to the flat pattern, there's bend notes, um, as we saw, where we can pick individually or window select. Again, there's styles to, to manage that. 
We can also use the table function to extract that information. So some really cool tools for um, detailing and annotating your flat patterns.